Good morning, first day in Chiang Mai and now it's 8.30 so I'm gonna start my day by getting breakfast from the 7-Eleven and then we're gonna head out to explore this beautiful city. Chiang Mai is famous for you know having these beautiful temples and handicrafts and the art and many more so uh, today we're gonna explore some of the temples and we'll see how beautiful it is. So let's start it. So it is kind of a thin bread with some pork and a little bit of shrimp in there. It's tasty. No. It's so nice, so I love it. In Bangkok, Chiang Mai also has this convenience store called 7-Eleven which is behind me. So it makes my life so easy and I just got my breakfast from the store which is the sandwich and also the milk. So both, both of these cost only 40 but which is about $1.15 so that's quite affordable I mean there's so many choices I mean you can eat noodles or fried rice on the street which is about 50 baht is about 10 baht more but I my breakfast is kind of light anyway so yeah it's convenient I just finished my breakfast so now I'm ready to explore the city. So the temple that we're going to see is called Wat Si Stupan and there are a few things about this temple that makes it so special and quite different from the rest of the temple that I've seen. So let's go and have a look at it. the one that I told you about the special well why is it so special well first of all is the color as you can see you know most of the Buddhist temples that I've seen are painted in golden color and this one is kind of covered in silver you know both inside and outside and yeah and the style itself it looks pretty modern and quite grand I don't know and the second unique thing about this temple is to have uh, this Ganesha statue which is the Hindi god in front of this building and uh, it's quite unusual to have Hindu god in the Buddhist temple but yeah I don't know and the third thing is that women are not allowed inside this beautiful building I asked a few locals and they don't know what's the uh, story behind it but one person told me that it could have been because women you know, menstruate and it could ruin or humiliate the sacred place. Which, if this is true, I would say it's quite interesting yet at the same time it's kind of confusing because, because most of Buddhist temples are allowed everyone in anyway, so except this one. So I think it gotta be more than that. So yeah, let's leave it as a mysterious and <laughs> yeah, just enjoy the beauty of it. And this one behind me is our, the 12 zodiacs or the 12 signs of animals. It's similar to the Chinese zodiacs except the Thai zodiac doesn't have the dragon but instead they have the uh, naga or the serpent. So the 12 zodiacs or the 12 animals uh, representing the 12 year cycle in traditional Thai culture special birthdays and anniversaries are celebrated in 12 year cycles linked to the sign of the zodiac is similar to the Chinese zodiac there are 12 animals each representing a year so those animals are rat, 
ox, tiger, rabbit, naga, snake, horse, goat, monkey, rooster, dog, and a pig. So for Thai people, the completion of each 12 year cycle is important because it brings them back to their birth, you know, year of animal. And as you can see, people put money on top of these animals. It's kind of celebrating the birthday and making some donation based on which sign of the zodiac they were born with. So if I was to celebrate my birthday by donating some money as the way of making merit, I will choose the rooster, which is the year I was born with. And that is the 1993. So yeah, it's quite interesting. So one of the special things about this temple is they also have the school, uh, the art school where they teach people how to craft all these beautiful traditional pattern that you see in the temple. So uh, that beautiful uh, silver temple building that we saw out there, actually all the beautiful plates are being carved from this temple So in this workshop. So it's quite impressive. So behind me here is some of the works you know from the school so these are all in silver this is elephant it's beautiful isn't it all right so let's take a look at the workshop famous for many things not just only the history and culture and old temples but also art and carving so everywhere you go on the street you will see the street art the tattoo shops beautiful boutiques and hotels nice restaurant nice street and a lot of street food so yeah that's why it's one of the most visited cities in thailand so i'm not surprised
One of the many unique things about Chiang Mai is this red taxi. So this red taxi is one of the landmarks in the city. And it also has yellow color, green and blue colors as well. Uh, so it's kind of a pickup truck that has the roof on the back and has uh, two long seats on each side. And one taxi can accommodate at least 15 passengers. So it's very easy and very cheap to get around with this one. Uh, so everywhere you go, you pay minimum from 15 to 30 baht, so no more than that. So yeah, it's kind of cheap and convenient. It's like in London where they have red bus on the street. But here in Chiang Mai, they have this guy, the red taxis everywhere, so it's very beautiful. 